Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am back again with day two of my 2020 Christmas series. And for this project, I am featuring Birch Press Designs. And this is a design team project. As you can see, we are going to use the Cora layer A, B, and C dies. Um, now again, you can just look at these images and you can see layer A works great or would work great on its own. So you have a lot of possibilities when it comes to these dies. Now I'm going to show you two different things. So this video is kind of back and forth. Um, it will be Gabby. It's not a long video though. <laughs> Miracles can happen. Um, but I was you know, again, I'm heading in one direction, at least that was in my mind, and I go somewhere else. So you can see I take care of my die cutting um, before, you know, we get into the card. They are set, but you can also see two of them are like cut off. I want to use, they have what's called a mandala circle base. So I had this idea on multiple layers with layering dies. Imagine that. Um but I kind of changed my mind now, but we're going to keep going through it. Now, this is what they look at or look like when you just real quick layer them together. These would make beautiful ornaments, uh, beautiful focal points for your cards. Um, and I wanted to use the Mandela circle base as a background for the one that's got the full cut. Now, what's great with these dies as well, especially this size, I was able to dig into my stash. So I chose an ivory, a green, and a red when it came to these colors. Now, I do like to use my liquid glue. Um, I find I get the best results using my art glitter glue and the pinpoint, as long as it's working. Here is what I find when it comes to this point that's on the, that comes with the art glitter glues. And it's also available on other glue bottles as well. Keep a pin in it. You can see, I just take that and I lay it down on its side and I don't put the pin back into it. I'm okay right now because I know I'm going to be picking that up, but I have a habit of leaving it like that. It will clog up for you. You will have to put a pin through it. You will have to do those things. You will eventually have to run that under hot water to get the glue out of it. So it will clog. Now that's me. I, I'm sure everyone has no problems. <laughs> so I will always say that it is operator's error. <laughs> but again, crafting's fun, right? We can't get stressed. There is no stress in crafting and being creative, right? Right. So you can see I'm gabbing through as I'm gluing the layers together. Um, but they, they do make it easy. They, they do line up very well. Um, but you can see I've got these ones that are, that are chopped up. And again, I have the focal point sitting on that Mandela circle base. Um, I'm going to give you the clue. I don't end up using it, um, but that's okay. You know, that is totally, totally all right. There is a reason why those pieces look like that. Again, I did dig into my scraps. Um, so there was a couple pieces that weren't big enough, but I was okay with that because you can see I have three here. You can see I have a four and a half, excuse me, a four, I have a standard A2 signs card base panel there. Four and a quarter by five and a half. There we go. <laughs> I was going to get it. I was going to get there. But I have three of these. So there, there is no way to get all three of these to fit on that panel without having to cut them. So I took that into account that, all right, these were going to be cut. So I was able to use those scraps. And again, it's something to look at, you know, if you want to use up those scraps, because I can never throw away a piece of scrap paper. I tried. It just doesn't work. Um, I save them. Now, eventually I will clean out. I keep mine in a file folder, my scraps, 
and I label them, you know, all the different colors that are possible. Um, and after a while, when it gets just too big, I will take out those one inch by one inch pieces <laughs> and throw them away. Um, but it takes me a long time. So you can see by using those, I was able just to cut off less than what I would have if I used the, the full die. So I have that piece up at the top. I have one down on the right. The background is actually a piece of satin. Um, mirror cardstock by Tonic, um, and it's a beautiful gold. Now you can see my hands are going all over the place. Yes, because I lost the, I did a voice, I didn't, wasn't going to do a voiceover on this. So we're just too funny. So you can see now I'm taking that third um, image and I'm putting this Mandela circle on the back. Don't get me wrong, absolutely beautiful, beautiful ornament. Best thing to have to you to make two-sided ornaments if you want, if they're not symmetrical to each other. That's how you can use that piece. But when I put that on top of the card panel, because I wanted that to sit in the front, I lost something probably because of all of the red and the green and the ivory. Probably if I would have taken those two pieces that I have in the background, you can see I'm, I've gotten gems going around them. If I used all of that satin mirror cardstock and just have those layers like that, like we do when we just use white cardstock, and then put that piece on top, it would have stood out beautifully. It was too much, a, very much, too much. So I just chose to use a sentiment, Merry Christmas, use white embossing powder to heat set that, put that right in the center. And then with those gold gems, I you saw I threw that, I'm saving that. <laughs> Do you see that wing? Okay. It's, it was not hurt. There were no pieces of paper or cards hurt in this video. Um, what I actually did with that, I turned it into an ornament. So I did do that. Obviously I didn't film that, but trust me, it's not hurt. I do hope you enjoyed this and the process, um, that I went through. Again, we change our minds. We shift what our thought is and go with it. Because again, it's always going to be beautiful. It's always going to be your piece of art and it's always going to be unique. So again, I do hope you enjoyed this project. Again, for day two, we featured Birch Press Designs and the Cora Layering Die Set. As always, the products that I use, as long as they're still available, will be listed down below in the video description. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave those down below as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I do hope you're enjoying the series so far. There is so much more to come. By all means, if it's your first time here, please make sure you subscribe. Love to have you in the group. Continue to enjoy your day. Make the most of it. Stay safe continue to stay healthy. But most of all, and just do this a little bit each day, always be creative, everyone. Till day three.